Hi guys, it's Odette again and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to upcycle your old side table. So all you're going to need is some sandpaper. You can use soft sandpaper or hard sandpaper depending on how long you want to take to sand the table down. And an old paintbrush. This is one that I've already used on the other side tables that I've upcycled and some paint. I'm using non-drip satin in pure brilliant white by Crown. And you're also gonna need something to put on top of your table. I'm just using a bit of wallpaper that I got from a local hardware store. And the last thing you will need is an old kitchen cloth or piece of kitchen roll. So rip your sandpaper in half and we're gonna start sanding the top of the table. I'm just gonna go around all of the edges and then work my way into the grooves that are in the table. And I'm gonna do all of the legs and the sides as well with the sandpaper. So excuse my crazy outfit. Um, I was having a relaxing day and I felt like doing a bit of a DIY project. And yes, they are my pajama bottoms. So if we zoom that in a little bit closer, you guys can see how I'm working it into the grooves by just folding the sandpaper in half and just pushing it into the grooves that are running along the top of the table. I'm not so worried about the ones that are running along the side, we can just push the paint into those ones, those little flicks that are on the edges there. Um, we can just push the paint into them, I'm not so worried about sanding into those grooves. So once you've sanded all of your table, just give it a quick wipe down with a damp cloth. This is just a cheap cloth with a bit of water on, just to wipe off all the excess dust from where we've sanded everywhere. And now I'm gonna get my non-drip satin paint, which is normally used for radiators, doors, 
door frames and as you can see on the tin banisters on stairs as well it can be used on and I'm just going to use this as a base coat to go all over the table now I'm probably going to do a couple of coats as it probably won't take on the first go but I'm just going to push it into all of those grooves as well and go all the way over the table all the legs first and then I'll turn it up the other way so that I can do the top of the table You guys can see here where it's not quite taken so I'll give it another coat once this is dried and just make sure that it's completely white and there's no dark spots showing through anymore. Okay, so while our table is drying, I'm just gonna clean the glass for the top of the table with some Mr. Sheen and a duster. And what I'm going to do now is get my wallpaper and I'm going to measure it around the plate of glass so I get an idea of the size it needs to be so that I can cut off all the excess. So I'm just going to fold it around each corner. I'm going to centre it to how I want it to look. So I'm going to have that flower slightly off centre but in the main part of the picture frame or the main part of the table frame. 
and I'm just going to fold it around that glass so that I've got an idea of where I need to trim it. So I'm just going to fold all those edges and make them really sharp so I know exactly where I'm cutting. And now I'm just going to trim that excess away with a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to check by putting that on the top of the table that the excess that I've trimmed off is enough and that it definitely fits. And I need to cut some extra off because it's not quite fitting and I don't want it folding up the edges too much. I'm just going to trim a little bit off at a time though because I don't want to be able to see any of that underneath um, down the sides once I've put the plate of glass on top. So I'm just going to lay my picture on top and then I'm going to put the glass straight on top of that. I'm not going to glue it down, I'm just going to leave it as it is so that if I ever want to change the picture I can just take the glass off and put something else on top. Give it a quick polish off and get rid of any finger marks. And there is my finished table. So on this one I just use the non-drip satin paint but you can use normal DIY wall paint as well on your tables. These ones have just been coated with the non-drip satin to start with and then used a colourful paint over the top. The first one was using Marvel wallpaper from a local DIY store and this one is old Chelsea tickets from when we've gone to matches. And the final one is a Disney themed one. 
thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe for more diy videos and how to's bye